Well, Edie and Galston, this is a massive space, about 50,000 square feet, and you can still see the ongoing construction. But by the end of July, imagine a hub of dining options, folks eating out here in the courtyard and throughout the center. Once again, the food is flowing and the beer pouring at River City Brewing Company after closing its downtown location nearly a year ago. All the hard work is, is starting to pay off. This is just one of the new tenants at Milagro Center, a new eatery in Carmichael, bringing several local restaurants under one roof. There is a place um, in Napa called Oxbow Market, which is a similar concept. And the fer ferry building in San Francisco is a little bit like it. Owner Alan Davis bought the property with his family three years ago when it was an old strip mall. And we're hoping this will be a catalyst to maybe spur some new development in, in the area. Getting to this point took longer than expected. Davis admits it should have been finished a lot sooner. Yes, like about a year ago. There's just been a lot of issues that have come up with the building and with the special agencies. Um, that are involved. But today we got to see the progress up close. These are all temporary walls for construction. Uh, and this is part of Ernesto's Mesa Mercado. Eventually joining them will be Insight Coffee, Giotto Gelato, The Patriot, Fish Face, plus a few more. You can have your ta your taco and your beer and your gelato and walk home. Residents say dining options have been limited in their community. You've got to go two miles one way or two miles another way just to find you know uh, a similar dining uh, experience. Steve Cunio with River City says fine cuisine has now become convenient in Carmichael and is starting to catch on based on the first day back in business. I haven't seen those kinds of uh, numbers in quite some time, so it was nice to experience that again. And also in the Milagro Center will be offices for the Carmichael Chamber of Commerce plus event space. I was also told that this parking lot will be reserved for future programs and concerts. We're live in Carmichael, Kathy Park, KCRA 3 News. Kathy, it looks like a huge space. Is yeah. it completely leased out? Yeah, the owners say that they were very specific in the tenants that they chose for this location. So all of the restaurants, all the business owners are based here in the Sacramento region. All the space is leased out despite the interest.